The second day of group matches here at the Volvo World Match Play Championship, and with all the players keen to get through to the knockout stage, it was always destined to produce some exciting golf. As Per Eriksson, the president of Volvo Event Management, explains, there are many qualities that make this tournament so special. Because this is a tournament with great tradition, and we also we're at a venue. Just look around you; it's 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 a marvelous venue. We have we are lucky with the weather right now, and we have um, the match play format. The match play format as a golfer, that's something you really love to, to watch and it brings out the best of the golfer. So I'm looking for it. In the early morning matches, John Senden's campaign came to an end. He lost to Tom Lewis by one hole. Despite a four and three loss in the afternoon to the defending champion, both Lewis and Ian Poulter progressed to the last 16. Rafael Cabrera Bello was the first of the three Spanish competitors to book his place in the knockout stage. He followed up his defeat of Martin Keimer with a comprehensive 4-2 and two victory over Richard Finch. What made the, uh, the most tricky was the fact that the wind changed completely the direction. We've been practicing the course with uh, easterly wind, mainly southeasterly, and today it changed to westerly, maybe a touch of northwesterly. So uh, it was a completely different course to the one we, we had practiced on the previous days. Yeah. Alvaro Quiros bounced back from a defeat on the opening day to outclass Tetsuji Hiratsuka 5-4. And thanks to Sergio Garcia also beating here at Suka 4 and 2, all three Spanish stars will be here come day three. Thomas Bjorn has also rallied with victory over Brandon Grace despite the lead changing hands several times. Grace improved his chances in the afternoon by beating Brandt Snedeker 4 and 3, meaning a three way playoff. In the end, it was Snedeker and Bjorn who held their nerve bringing to an end the dream of a Volvo Grand Slam for Grace. A halved match between the former Open champion Paul Laurie and Camillo Vijegas saw Laurie advance into the last 16, and Vijegas beating Peter Hansen 6-4 and four in the afternoon led to a playoff. Laurie came out on top. Robert Rock enjoyed an excellent victory over Darren Clark by two holes in his morning match. It meant Clark's 6-4 and four loss to Justin Rose in the afternoon that the reigning Open champion fails to reach the knockout stage. There was another playoff to come. Robert Carlson and JB Kruger had to settle for a halved match. Kruger's loss of four and three to Graham McDowell meant that playoff, and that saw Carlson overcome the South African, and the Swede stays in the hunt. Retief Kusen announced his intentions for the week by beating Nicholas Colsart by one hole, and fellow South African Charles Schwarzel four and three come the second match of his day. Schwarzel and Colsart had to decide their fate in yet another playoff. The Belgian emerged victorious. It's almost like I become a dark horse again, which is quite, uh, which is quite good. Uh, a bit unexpected to, to go in the playoff because I thought that um, you know, the two South Africans were going to go through, obviously. And um, so, yeah, a bit unexpected to get into the playoff. And, uh, you know, I, I just hit it outside Charles. I make it, he, he misses, but, you know, that's the way playoff and, and much bigger. An exciting finish to the group stages, and there's more to come. A thrilling weekend, guaranteed.